Welcome to an introduction about FNC, a new component set by TMS Software. FNC is still not very well known in the Delphi community, so that's the reason why I'm going to start to explain what FNC stands for. FNC stands for Framework Neutral Controls. That means if you develop an application, you can develop for multiple platforms in multiple frameworks and you still use the same components. Without FNC, the picture looks like this. If you develop a VCL application, you use the included VCL components, add third-party controls, for example, T Advanced String Grid from TMS software, and then you have your application for Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. If you develop a FireMonkey application, you have to use the included FireMonkey components and add third-party components that have been created for FireMonkey, for example, the TTMS FMX Grid. Furthermore, if you develop for Lazarus, you use the LCL components, which are included with Lazarus. However, there's only very limited number of third-party components available. So the key differences between all these frameworks are that you have to remember all the different properties, all the events, all the methods, all the different data types, and anything that deals with graphics is basically different in all the frameworks. With FNC, you can use the same components in every framework. What is exactly the same is the properties, the methods, and the events. Even the graphic code states the same because FNC comes with its own graphics library. That means you will get the same look and feel on any framework and platform. And the best thing is, the controls can handle high DPI applications. In conclusion, you will have a single code base for your controls, and your applications, because FNC controls are also extendable. That means you can write your own derived components based on FNC components that are already there, or you can write completely new FNC controls. Furthermore, you can mix FNC with existing VCL, FireMonkey, or Lazarus components. That means as soon as you pick FNC, it doesn't mean you have to restrict yourself to just using FNC controls. This also means no matter which platform you develop for, be it Windows, one of the mobile platforms, iOS or Android, be it Mac or even Linux or Raspbian, you know which properties and methods to use because it's always going to be the same method, the same property and the same event, as long as you use FNC controls. So let's finish this video with a demonstration by showing a VCL and FireMonkey application in Delphi 10.2 Tokyo and also a LCL application using Lazarus 164. The demo is going to be pretty simple. I loaded a project group into Delphi with a VCL project and a FireMonkey project. Right now you see the VCL project. It has a button of type TTMS FNC button. That means it's the FNC control not the standard VCL control. And the list box component, also from the FNC component set, called TTMS FNC list box. The functionality of the application is even simpler. Clicking the button will add a number into the list box. The source code of the application is pretty simple as well. We implemented two events. One is the form create event of the form in which all the items of the list box are being cleared and the second event is the on click event of the button where we add a number to the list box. As you can see the controls are pretty similar to what you're used to from the VCL. We have an items property in the list box and we have the method add and clear um, as we're used to from the VCL. Running the application we can see that if we click the button numbers are being added to the list box. Let's look at the FireMonkey application. You see that the form already looks similar at design time. Again, we have two components. One is the button and the other one is the list box. Notice that everything is absolutely exactly the same. The look and feel is the same and also the properties are the same. Looking at the source code is even more surprising. It is exactly the same code. Running the application shows that here as well we have the same result, numbers are being added to the form. This example showed that we can use the exact same components in two different frameworks.
It also nicely showed that we can use exactly the same source code for two different frameworks. Of course, in FileMonkey, we're not restricted to Windows. We could also select macOS or any mobile platform as our target. Finally, let's have a look at the demonstration in Lazarus. As you can see, the form designer, it looks exactly the same and also the source code is the same. We implement the form create and the on button click. To no surprise, also the functionality is exactly the same. We are already at the end of the first video of this series. Hopefully we could trigger your interest to have a look at more videos from this series. The next couple of videos will dive deeper into the architecture of FNC, but we'll also have a look at all the different components that are included in the component set.